sheet that handed down to me my charter uh, and now we're up here doing the work and so we're gonna kick off today with uh, the divine supplication the Moorish parliamentary opening we're gonna get started happy holy day peacemakers and Muslims you can join us by clicking the greenhouse at the top and uh, we're about to get it get it going today two pieces uh, y'all should. Begin our prayers and thinking by using El Kalum, the all prayer of the Ansars, 
O Heavenly One, the Most High, who is sustainer of all the worlds, we do accept the duty you have laid on us to clean up the filth made by the West and its non-submitting fools. O my sustainer, we beseech you to keep your hand over us, to control the strings of the courses of our lives, our sustainer, and if we do wrong, please show our divine blessings and forgiveness on us. You are the only one that can raise us true followers of the news bearers, and in thy name we carry on. And after fall. What we accept is fact, the daily affirmation of loyalty of the children of the Elohim. We accept as fact the eternal laws of nature as revealed through science, past events, logic, and common sense, revealed as right knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. We accept as fact. We accept as fact. The highest laws of nature is the cooperation and harmony of all living things. We accept this fact our way of life as a mean to the best end. We accept this fact that loyalty is the greatest of all honors and treason is the worst of all crimes. We accept this fact that what is good for the Holy Tabernacle is the highest virtue and what is bad for the Holy Tabernacle is the ultimate evil. We accept this fact that the Holy Tabernacle is the finest and noblest organization for all humanity created by circumstances and the ancient and mystic order of Melchizedek is the noblest of fraternities on and above this planet. We accept this fact that creativity, love, and cooperation are the essence of success. We accept this fact that truth and facts are always and has always been the originator and creator of all success. We accept this fact that all worldwide cultures and civilizations came about from the ancient Sumerians and Kamite Egyptians and the Anunnaki or Elohims from the heavens without which there would be none. We accept this fact that for the Holy Tabernacle to survive, expand, and advance, we need, first of all, a revolution of values and thoughts, which must start with within each person by being truthful with themselves and about themselves. Therefore, we completely and categorically reject all myths, fictions, religions, and lies that have not been proven. That would include your heavens, your hells, your hellfires, and brimstones, your horn and pitchfork devils, your winged angels, and your old man God character sitting on a throne up there somewhere. We deal strictly with facts. If you can't prove it, we don't want to hear it. That doesn't mean we won't listen to you. Just don't expect us to accept your beliefs by virtue of a title such as reverend, pastor, deacon, imam, sheikh, rabbi, minister, theologian, etc. That is your sensationalism and we deal with just the facts. We accept this fact that the only true revolution is a war of good against evil, right against wrong, fairness against unfairness, loyalty against disloyalty, sincerity against insincerity, honesty against dishonesty, and this war is fought within each person amongst the agreeable and disagreeable Elohims that make up your willpower. We accept this fact that the unity of our community and its success will only happen with cooperation with all involved. We accept this fact the total unification of all humanity on the basis of truth that is accepting people and races for who and what they are, respecting their culture, their languages, and their beliefs and expect the same. We accept this fact that the human race, its biological and cultural heritage is now under attack by our own morals, our self-righteousness, our desire to control industry, and these things attack the very existence of humanity. We accept this fact that no one race of people is better than the other. In fact, no one wins the race and racism. We accept this fact that, the, that communication between different people is the cure to the ignorance that breeds the disease hate. We accept this fact that a good and well-rounded education could prevent most of the ignorance that plagues the world. We accept this fact that the all is just that, the all, you can't take from the all, you can't add to the all. We are all within the all is one. That is our concept of what you call a deity. To the fulfillment of these facts, we children of the Elohim fell will pledge our lives, our sacred honor, and our spiritual zeal. True peace. All right, all right, all right. Gonna read the divine constitution and bylaws by the prophet. Act one. The Grand Sheik and the Chairman of the Moorish Science Temple of America is empowered to make law and enforce laws with the assistant of the prophet and the grand body of the Moorish Science Temple of America. The assistant Grand Sheik is to assist the Grand Sheik in all affairs if he lives according to love, true peace, freedom, and justice. And it is known before the members of the Moorish Science Temple of America. 
All meetings are act two. I'm sorry. Act two. All meetings are to be open and closed promptly, according to the Circle Seven and Love Two Peace, Freedom and Justice. Friday is our holy day of rest because on a Friday the first man was formed in flesh, and on a Friday the first man departed out of flesh and ascended unto his Father God Allah. For that cause, Friday is our holy day for all Muslims all over the world. Act three. Love, true peace, freedom, and justice must be proclaimed and practiced by all members of the Morris Science Temple of America. No member is to put in danger or accuse falsely his brother or sister on any occasion at all that may harm his brother or sister because the law is love. Act 4. All members must preserve these holy and divine laws and all members must obey the laws of the government because by being a Moorish American, you are a part and parcel of the government and must live the life accordingly. Act 5. The organization of the Moorish Science Temple of America is to not cause any confusion or overthrow the laws and constitution of the said government, but to obey hereby. Act 6. With us, all members must proclaim their nationality, and we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed that they may know that they are not part, that they may know that they are part and parcel of this said government, and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians, because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now, and all men now must proclaim their free and national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why the great God of the universe ordained noble Drew Ali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. Act 7. All members must promptly attend their meetings and become a part and parcel of all uplifting acts of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Members must pay their dues and keep in line with all necessities of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Then you are entitled to the name of faithful. Husband, you must support your wife and children. Wife, you must obey your husband and take care of your children and look after the duties of your household. Sons and daughters must obey father and mother and be industrious and become part of the uplifting of humanity. All Moorish Americans must keep their hearts and minds pure with love and their bodies clean with water. This divine covenant is from your holy prophet, noble Joe Ali, through the guidance of his father, God of love. True peace. All right, we're going to uh, set a Moorish American prayer. Five fingers up, two fingers up. Allah, the father of the universe, the father of love, true peace, freedom, and justice. Allah is my protector, my God, and my salvation by night and by day through his holy prophet, noble Joe Ali. Amen. Right, all right, all right. Two piece number. Can you hear me, Jeff? Two piece. You can hear me, Jeff? Is I'm on? You hear me? Yeah, now. Nah. Two piece number. Uh, you got anything you want to build on today? Uh, nah, nothing, nothing in particular. I just build off whatever you build off of, just go with the flow. Well, it's question and answer. Uh, uh, the platform and how we structure. So, that's why I was asking. Anything you had in mind already? Or like anything from what we discussed earlier? As far as uh, getting the land, stuff like that. Uh, or, or any like uh, feedback from what I just played uh, from the Grand Sheik. That was the Grand Sheik of, like I said, of, of this particular temple for us. That's who uh, gave us the charter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to give any feedback on what he was saying, you can also do that as well. I was doing research trying to get the uh, the names of these land, name of the land, where they located, like the address, the state, the zip code, and all that, so we can work towards getting them. But I don't know where to look. So I think that I should start by digging into some historical documents, then go off of that instead of just searching Moorish castles in America. Right, correct. Yeah, off of historical doc. Yeah. Well, if you come back during the day, during the day on uh, Monday, we can do the, uh, we can discuss that again and try building. Okay. 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 Okay.
Alright. Somebody came in. Oh, no, it's just you. Uh. As far as like the inner details and stuff like that, uh, hold on, let me mute you. I think I hear you typing. So the, uh, so we can build on that particular part because the processes and stuff like that we talk about during the uh, tribunal during the day. So we can go over that then. So um, as I was playing from the grand man grand sheet of the supreme body that's temple number one grand sheet and so uh you know a lot of what the the the, the grand man was saying you know goes into the prevalent points that we may kill in the temple and you know the readings of the prophet that you know we read every every week because in the senses of our people's mind, uh, you know, we're not uh, understanding these points from the mental reservoir of where it is coming from. I don't know if you can hear me well, but we're not respecting the mental reservoir of where it comes from. I'm, I'm about to pull up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was saying that my next question is, what is the what is the belief of the Moors, or what does they base their science upon? Uh, that actually allowed me to pull up. Uh, circle seven holding the ground, right? And that's what we're gonna read. The covenant behind uh, what the prophet is brought uh, by way of the message of the uh, the divine constitution of Bible. So we're gonna open up chapter 25 of the Holy Quran, circle seven. Uh, it's in the school, Josh. Uh, or you can do it so you can get a copy of the download real quick. And if you don't got it, don't you read on it. Chapter 7. Huh? Sura 7. Why you got one? Yeah, it's one in the school. You can log in the school. You can actually go to the resources and then go to the school, my school, and scroll down. You should see uh, the Holy Quran Circle 7. It's the PDF version. Oh, you should be able to read it right now. Ooh. That way you can at least read along. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to look it up right now. <clears throat> I ain't got to log in so I get my bookmark. Go to school. I find that book on Google, any form. Yeah, you can just Google it. Yeah, just type in Holy Quran, Circle 7, or Circle 7, Holy Quran, and pull it right up. PDF. Oh, you can read it online too, in many places. And we on chapter 25. Y'all ready? You found it? Yeah, I got it right now. Okay. All right, so it says, uh, a holy covenant of the Asiatic nation, chapter 25. Ye are the children of one father, and ye are the children of one father, provided for by his care in the breast of one mother, had given you suck. Let the bonds of affection therefore unite thee with thy brothers, that peace and happiness may dwell in thy father's house. And when ye separate in the world, remember the relation that binded you to love and unity, and prefer not a stranger before thy own blood. If thy brother is in adversity, assist him. If thy sister is in trouble, forsake her not. So shall the fortunes of thy father contribute to the support of his whole race, and his care be to, and his care be continued 
to you all and your love to each other. So the prophet uh, basically established the, the covenant of the divine family and the royal family uh, by quoting this particular, uh, you know, uh, uh, five verses in the in the uh, in the Holy Quran, Circle Seven, as a part and representation of the Holy Covenant for us as an Asiatic nation or the Asiatic nation. And um, as you go through the heading of the Holy Quran, Circle Seven, you will see that the Prophet actually left instruction for us as a people and how to work and operate. Um, you know, through through these holy instructions. So this gives you insight into how the more Science Temple of America looks at things and how they operate. So uh, I'm gonna go to chapter 47 and 48 next, so we can get a, a further background uh, into the uh, spiritual or philosophical religious foundation for the more science of America. Islam. 47 and so 48. Yeah, I'm on 47 right now. And 47 is called Egypt, the capital empire of the dominion of Africa. So as the grand manager said, that's our people over here. That's our people over there. If you can't see that we the same people, I don't know what to tell you. So, uh, with that, uh, I'm going to read. It says, The inhabitants of Africa are the descendants of the ancient Canaanites from the land of Canaan. Old man Cush and his family are the first inhabitants of Africa who came from the land of Canaan. His father Ham and his family were second. Then came the word Ethiopia, which means the democration line of the dominion of Mexico, the first true and divine name of Africa, the dividing of the land between the father and the son. The dominion of Kush, Northeast and Southeast Africa, and Northwest and Southwest was his father's dominion of Africa. In later years, many of their brethren from Asia and the Holy Lands joined them. The Moabites from the land of Moab, who received permission from the pharaohs of Egypt to settle, to settle and inhabit Northwest Africa, they were the founders and are the true possessors of the present Moroccan Empire, with their Canaanite, Hittite, and Amorite brethren, whose sovereign from the land of Canaan seeking new homes. Their dominion and inhabitation extended from Northeast and Southwest Africa across Great Atlantis, even unto the present North, South, and Central America, and also Mexico and the Atlantis Islands, and the Atlantis Islands, before the great earthquake, which caused the Great Atlantic Ocean. The Nile River, I'm sorry, the river Nile was dredged and made by the ancient pharaohs of Egypt in order to trade with the surrounding kingdoms. Also, the Niger River was dredged by the great pharaoh of Egypt in those ancient days for trade, and it expands eastward from the river Nile, westward across the Great Atlantic. It was used for trade and transportation. According to all true and divine records of the human race, there is no Negro color. There is no Negro, black, or colored race attached to the human family, because all the inhabitants of Africa were and are of the human race, descendants of the ancient Canaanite nation from the Holy Land of Canaan. What your forefathers were, you are today without doubt or contradiction. There is no one who is able to change man from the descendant nature of his forefather unless his power extends beyond the great universal creator Allah himself. These holy and divine laws are from the prophet Noble Jew Ali, the founder of the United and the More Science Temple of America. These laws are to be strictly preserved by the members of all the temples of the More Science Temple of America that they will learn to open their meeting and guide it according to the principles of love, true peace, freedom, and justice. Every subordinate temple of the Grand Major Temple is to form under the covenant of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and to create their own laws and customs in conjunction with the laws of the Holy Prophet and the Grand Temple. I, the Prophet, Noble Jew Ali, was sent by the great God Allah to, to warn all Asiatics of America to repent from their sinful ways before that great and awful day that is sure to come. The day has come when every, man, when every nation must worship under its own vine and fig tree, and every tongue must confess his own. Through sin and disobedience, every nation has suffered slavery due to the fact that they honored not the creed and principles of their forefathers. That is why the nationality of the Moors was taken away from them in 1774, 
and the word Negro, black in color, was given to the Asiatics of America, who were of Moorish descent, because they honored not the principles of their mother and father, and strayed after the gods of Europe, of whom they knew nothing. So that was chapter. So, uh, did that, uh, you know, the insight? <clears throat> yeah, they gave me the proper insight that I needed right there. Pause the question. So, uh, we read chapter 25, verse 14 through 17. 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 Chapter people that come out of the, the, the platonic plate in the ground of Africa. That's where we come out of the ground of other land masses and places across the world. And, uh, you know, for the further discussion, we have to understand that there wasn't any land uh, on the planet, and that land actually rose from the floor of this planet. And so we got to have real tangible discussion uh, and question and answer discussion. Um, you know, that are continue, you know, that are come as we continue to uh, grow. So, true peace, I'm gonna move on to chapter 48 called The End of Time and the Fulfillment and the Fulfilling of the Prophecy. Uh, and it reads The last prophet in these days is Noble Ali, who was divinely prepared in due time by Allah to redeem men from their sinful ways and warn them of the great wrath which is sure to come upon the earth. John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus in those days to warn and stir up the nation and prepare them to receive the divine creed, which was to be taught by Jesus. In these modern days, there came a forerunner of Jesus who was divinely prepared by the great God of law, and his name is Marcus Dog, who did teach and warn the nations of the earth to prepare to meet the coming prophet, who was to bring the true and divine creed of Islam, and his name is Noble Jew Ali, who was prepared and sent to this earth by Allah to teach the, to teach the old time religion and the everlasting gospel to the son of man to the sons of man that every nation shall and must worship under their own vine and fig tree and return to their own and be one with their father God of love the Moorish Science Temple of America is a lawfully chartered and incorporated organization and any supporting temple that desires to receive a charter the prophet has them to issue to every state throughout the United States that they might that the world may hear and know the truth that among the descent that among the descendants of Africa, there is still much wisdom to be learned in these days for the redemption of the sons of man under love, true peace, freedom, and justice. We, as a clean and pure nation, descendants from the inhabitants of Africa, do not desire to amalgamate or marry into the families of the pale-skinned nations of Europe, neither serve the gods of their religion, because our forefathers are the true and divine founders of the first religious creed for the redemption and salvation of mankind on earth. Therefore, we are returning the Church of Christianity back to the European nations as it was prepared by their forefathers for their earthly salvation. While we, the Moorish Americans, are returning to Islam, which was founded by our forefathers for our earthly and divine salvation. The covenant of the great God of law, honor thy father and thy mother, that thy, that thy days may be longer upon the earth land, which the Lord thy God, Allah, had given thee. Come, all ye Asiatics of America, and hear the truth about your nationality and birthright, because you are not Negroes. Learn of your forefathers' ancient and divine creed that you will learn to love instead of hate. We are trying to uplift fallen humanity. Come and link yourself with the family of nations. We honor all true and divine prophets. Islam. True peace. True peace. So that uh, guess gave us a chance to continue to open it. Uh, and now we're officially open, but uh, we also are in the uh, Q&A session, and that also answers the very first question. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the El Holy Quran prepared. And uh, I also want to read another verse, another chapter out of the Circle 7 called The Instructions of Unity. Because that is the main uh, directive that we need to take effect to, or cause, I'm sorry, take cause to, be caution to, when it comes to, you know, looking at what the more Science Temple of America is presenting and what we have to offer ourselves as a people. Islam.
uh, holy the holy instructions of unity. And it reads, the gifts of understanding are the treasures of Allah, and he appointed to everyone his portion, and what measures seem it good unto him. Had he given, I'm sorry, had he endowed thee with wisdom, had he enlightened thy mind with the knowledge of truth, communicated to the ignorant for their instruction, communicated to the wise for thy own improvement. True wisdom is less presuming than folly. The wise man doubted often and changed his mind. The fool is obstinate and doubted not. He knoweth all things but his own ignorance. The pride of emptiness is an abomination and too much talk is the folliness or foolishness of folly. Nevertheless, it is the part of wisdom to hear with patience their impertinence and to pity their absurdity. Impertinence, I'm sorry. Uh, yet, yet be not puffed up in thy own conceit, neither boast of superior understanding. The clearest human knowledge is but blindness and folly. The wise man filleth his own, his, I'm sorry, the wise man filleth his imperfection and is humble. He labored in vain for his own aberration, approbation, but the fool peepeth it in the shadow stream of his own mind and is pleased with the pebbles which he seeth at the bottom. He bringeth them up and showeth them as pearls and with the applause of his brethren delighted himself. He boasts of attainments and things that are not of, that, I'm sorry, that are of no worth. But where is it a shame to be ignorant? There, there he, there he had no understanding. Even in the path of wisdom, he toiled after folly and shame and disappointment are the reward of his labor. But the wise man co cultivates his mind with knowledge, the improvement of the arts in his delight, and with, I'm sorry, and their utility to the public crown it with honor. Nevertheless, the attainment of virtue, he accounted as the highest learning and the science of happiness is the study of his life. True people, Islam. So, that right there, Gives you a breakdown of why we do what we do in the temple. Why we play the motivational things during the week to get people, you know, uh, motivated. Understanding that man cannot live off bread alone. Right? But every mm -hmm. mouth that proceeds from him in the word of God, right? As the word of God, I mean. So... We understand that we have to be in control of our own mind, our own program, and we be in control of doing our own thing. And so we we witnessed we witnessed a lot of disagreements based off of what we're hearing in the basis of this doctrine. And the prophet said, create your own laws and customs, correct? Correct. That is in accordance with what the prophet is bringing. So that don't mean don't create any companies, any organizations, and you know any other thing that will help us as a people but we have a lot of naysayers in the community that will tell you oh you can't do that and you can't do this and that's not in alignment with the prophet and you will see that has nothing to do with uh, you know the actual message of the prophet and 
a lot of our people, you know, like I say, misconstrue these divine messages because they are in an argument with the divine. And that essentially have nothing to do with us as a people. You, personally, whatever somebody's dealing with, that has nothing to do with what you're dealing with personally. So, you know, these things should be understood, but we have to teach the science as we just read of happiness. And most of these people not happy. <clears throat> and this is why we deal with the situations we deal with as a people. Because we understand hurt people hurt people, right? This is why we deal with the inconsistency that we deal with. Because people are hurt and they're thinking from a hurt place. from a hurt place you're not manifesting the things that you want to manifest in life so this is why we tune into the sacred readings uh, El's Holy Quran Circle 7 is actually available on the website in the world library I'm going to reset the room before we go to the next stage which is um, or the next phase of the uh, uh, the temple service which is uh, us actually reading El's Holy Quran from the master teacher so that way we have a combination of the best of both worlds y'all so we get to sprinkle a little bit or a lot of bit from the prophet and then we get to come back again with El's Holy Quran from the master teacher so last week we left off on chapter 24 of El's Holy Quran. So that's where I'm going to pick us up at. Or if, uh, last session that we read, I'm not sure if we read the Quran last week. But uh, the last reading, last time we read, uh, we did stop at chapter 24. So that's where we're going to pick up. Chapter 24 is called He Frown from uh, the mistranslation, chapter 28, uh, chapter 80, I'm sorry. That's what they uh, moved it to in the mistranslations of the, the, the Quran. And so uh, we're going to start it off. Begin our prayers and thinking by using El, by using the name of the source, Allah, the Ramah, who is the most merciful. And 
the master teacher gives a review before he goes into the verse and the review states Ahmad frowned and turned away from the blind man Abdullah ibn Um Maktam Muhammad is questioned what will make him perceive if he didn't come to him for guidance to make him to make them calm or if he Abdullah remembers the facts Muhammad gave his attention to Walid ibn al mugariya It is not Muhammad's responsibility if he, Walid ibn al mugariya doesn't purify himself. Abdullah ibn Um Maktum is striving earnestly and, the, and dreads the source Muhammad was indifferent to him. So that's the review. And now we're going to go into the verse and it reads, he, Ahmad Abbasa, frowned and turned away. When the blind man, Abdullah ibn Um Maktum, came to him and disturbed him while he, Muhammad, was conversing with the chiefs of the tribe of Korish. And what will make you, Ahmad, perhaps, that, I'm sorry, what will make you, Ahmad, perceive that perhaps he, Abdullah ibn Um Maktum, came to you for guidance to make him calm, to purify himself, or that Yatadhaka, he, Abdullah ibn Um Maktum, remembers the facts in al Dikra, the remembrance may benefit him. As for him, Wali ibn al Mugariya, who seeks to be rich, you, Ahmad, gave him, Wali ibn al Mugariya, your attention. And it is not your responsibility if he, Wali ibn al Mugariya, does not purify himself. But as for him, Abdullah ibn Um Maktum, who comes to you, Ahmad, striving earnestly, and he, Abdullah ibn Um Maktum, dreads. And you, Muhammad, were indifferent to him, Abdullah ibn Um Maktum. So the master teacher goes into the next review. It states, the Quran is to be remembered. It is in the Sahuf. All scriptures are pure. By the hand of great scribes. They were Kirim or Kairim. The inner sight is ungrateful. Does the inner sight know of what the source collect, collect, create him? I'm sorry, what the source collect him, meaning create him? From a nutfa? Then the source made his path easy. And the verse reads, Nevertheless, surely it, the Quran, is to be tahrik. Tarikrat, I'm sorry, Tarikrat. Remember, whoever pleases may the Kara remember from it and Mukarram on it, Sahuf, Pure Pages, the Anuma Elish, Gilgamesh Epics, Itana, Adafa, Nergu, and Arshkigu, descendants of Ishtar, Atraha or Atrahasis, exalted and pure are all the scriptures by the aid or aid hands of the great scribes Zakar, Adam, Set, Adapha or Shana, Abraham or I mean or Abram or Abraham who were given the Sahuf who were Karam, generous and Bararat, virtuous damned be the inner sight how ungrateful he is concealing that which he knows to be the facts do the inner sight know from what shaping he color created him? From a life germ, new foot, or new fat, semen? He, he not we, created him. So Kadah Rahu formed him, him not them, in measured stages or evolution. Then made his, then made his Al Sabil path easy in life. The prophet, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the master teacher, the master teacher goes into another review. It says, Allah brings him unto death. If he pleases, he will raise him to life again. The inner sight, the inner sight didn't do what the source wanted him to do. Look at key 
and how it provided him. The Anunnaki poured down water very heavily. And they caused grain to grow in it. And grapevines and cob and olives and nakal. And dense orchards. And the verse reads, Then he brings him unto death and assigns him tombs or graves. Then it pleases him, he will raise him to life again. Nevertheless, he, the Enosite, has not done what he has ordered him. So let Al and Son, the Enosite, look at his food of that which the planet Kui or Tiamat, earth, and how it was provided. Surely we, we not I or me, the Anunnaki Elohim, pour down water or rain very heavily. Then we Elohim Anunnaki cleared the planet Tiamat al Ard so that it may yield, and we Elohim Anunnaki caused grain to grow in it. And in that great vineyards and cob and cob and cab and cab pastures and zaytun olive and nakal, palm dates and dense hadaik hada hada orchards and it's another review before the verse continues on before the chapter continues on the verse the review goes and fruits and abba it is a temporary provision for you all and your animals When a Sa'ak, when a Sa'akat is blasted by Raphael, on that day, each will flee from his own brother. All persons on that day will be concerned with themselves. Some faces will be shining laughing with joy some will be covered with dust the immoral concealers of the facts and fa and fa fa fakihat and fakihat fruits and abba herbage it is it is a grace for you all and your cattle or animals so when al sakat the deafen, the deafening blast comes or is blasted by the elohim raphael Two piece, who is that? You trying to say something? To oh, no, nah, I ain't saying anything right here. You hear me? Yeah, I can. Um, I was trying to uh, 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 see if you're saying something uh, so I can mute the mic. If not, are you reading out of the circle seven still? Oh, no, this or is the only answer? church. This is El's Holy Quran. So this could be found in the school as well. Uh, this right here, you probably gotta get this one off the script. able to get into the school on your phone right now nah, I'm trying to uh, I gotta get on my other phone so I can get the bookmark for the school could I get on through the bookmark I don't know the website off the top of the head oh you, you can uh, feel me you I, just clicked on I think it's edu education like 
yeah, you can actually just click the link at the top uh, for the school. Oh, the Holy Temple's website? Yeah, and then just scroll down to Temple District. Yeah, in the interfaith court. It's in the Temple District. Click learn more and it'll take you to the school directly. So uh, do question and answers on a civic course, civics one on one. So any uh, questions from the classes as well? Uh, it's also open uh, during the question and answer session. I'm trying to find Aaron Moore. I can't even find. Oh, learn more here. Okay. Global Independent School District. I'm on now on the website. Okay, so you can click them three little dots in the top left corner and then go to resources. Uh, 
they had to reset my password because I, like, I can't get up in there. You need help resetting the password? Yeah. Because it's a new phone. It's password in my other phone. Yeah. Get the SIM card in there and get it. Well, I could just re I'm going to just reset the password from here right here through my email address. Oh, okay, you can do it. I'm just checking. Alright, it's, it's the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to resources. And... Um, Go to the school, click the school, and you should see it say L's Holy Quran. at the bottom and you click the link it'll take you to uh, it'll take you to the book so I went to resources I go to school correct and then you should see L's Holy Quran it's, it's only say World Library and World Temple 144 form those are only two books that I see available. You see what? Well, I see one folder. I'm going to check this folder. The other one is a PDF. El Holy Quran. I see you right there. Again. I'm on chapter I'm at the end of chapter 24 scrolling Chapter 25 right now. All right, so I'm on verse. Uh, if you go back up a little bit, I am on verse. Uh, I am on verse 34, where it say, "So when Al Sakat, the deafening blast comes." or is blasted by the Elohim Raphael, on that day, each being in command or person will flee from his own op brother 
and his um, mother, and his ab, father, and his sahibat, female companion, or his girlfriend, and his banin, children. For on that day, all children in command or persons will be concerned with themselves. On that day, some was you. Faces will be shining, joyous and happy, and dahakat, laughing with cheerness. And some faces will be covered with gabar, gabar, uh, gabara, dust or gloomy, katara, dark dust shall cover them. Those are the ones of you who conceal that which they know to be facts. They are al fajara, immoral. Surika alahu el azim. And that was the end of chapter 24. We're going to read chapter 25 next. They got moved to chapter 97. So we begin our prayers and thinking by using the name of the source, Allah, the Rahman, who is the most merciful. And the review before the verse states The Quran sent down in the 19th shadow hour period of Lelit al Qadri. The shadow hour of power is better than a thousands and better than a thousand of months. All the Malika with Al Ru or Al with Al Ru or Al Murda came down by the izin of their sustainer. Peace enveloped the shadow hour. And the verse reads, I mean, and the chapter reads. Surely we, we not I, Elohim Ananaki, sent it, the Quran, down to Muhammad in the shadow hour period of power, 19th shadow hour period in the month of Ramadan. And by what means would you perceive Ma'a, what the shadow hour period of power is, Lele al Qadri? The shadow hour period of power is better than Al, is better than Al Sahar, 1,000 months, Al Sahar. 1,000 months. All of the al Malikat, the angelic messengers or Anunnaki, came down to Qui or al Ard, the planet Earth, and the Ruach, Murdoch or Mikael, or uh, Ruach or Murdoch or Mikael, meaning soul, by the Izin, permission of their Rab, Anu, who is in control of all things. Salam. Peace enveloped it. This, exalt, this exalted shadow hour, period. Until the signal of Al Fash, daybreak. Surika Allahu El Aziz. And that was the end of chapter 25. And now we're on chapter 26, which got moved to chapter 91. Begin our prayers and thinking by using the name of the source, Allah, the Rahman, who is the most merciful. And so the master teacher goes into the review uh, and it states the sun and its radiance. The Nahar is brightened by it. The Lal screens it. And Ma'a, what built the sky. Allah, Allaham, Alham, Allah, Alham, the spirit to overstand its Fujwa. He who has purifies his spirit will be prosperous. The mood called Salih Alaya. The mood raised Jinda Ibn Umar to kill the she camel. They slaughtered it. Allah crushed them for their zan and leveled the mood. Allah doesn't feel the ukba of such a destruction. And the chapter reads, And the shams, or sun, and its duha, radiance, and the kama, moon, when it follows after it, and the nahar, daytime or afternoon, when it is brightened by it, and the lel, or lal, shadow hour period, when it screens it, and al sama'a, the sky, and Ma'a, what built it? And the Kui or Tiamat, planet Earth. And Ma'a, 
what landscaped it. And the Naf's spirit or person and Ma'a, what Sawa perfected it. So he, he not we, Alhamha, Alham, Maha, inspired it. The spirit to overstand its fujua, wickedness, and its trembling at the mention. He who purifies it or his spirit has certainly become Afla, prosperous. And certainly he who Kaaba buries it, his spirit, has certainly failed. Because of Tamud's excessive transgressions, they called him Salih, a Kazir, liar. When they, the Enosites of Tamud, raised up back to life amongst themselves, the Ashka, the Ashka'a, most wretched leader, Jinda ibn Uma, to kill the she camel. So Allah's Rasul, Salih, said to them, do not harm Allah's al Naqat, Naqat, she camel. Leave her to water and suk ya'a, graze. And they, Enosites of Tamu, called the one sin, Salih, a liar, and slaughtered the she camel. So their sustainer, who is Ra or Rab, crushed them for their zang, guilty act, and leveled it, the mood. And he does not fear the Ukba consequences of such a destruction. Surika Alahu El Azim. And that was the end of chapter 26. And uh, I guess we'll move to chapter 27 and we'll end it right there with reading the readings from El Holy Quran. And chapter 27 got moved to chapter to chapter 85. Begin all prayers and thinking by using the name of the source, Allah, the Rahman, who is the most merciful. Going into the review, it states, the heavenly skies is the source of al Bujra. I'm sorry, al Buruj. The source is the watcher. The who Nawas killed the faithful. To Allah belongs the rulership of the Samawat and Kui or Ki. Those who persecute the faithful men and women will have pain of Jahannam. And the, the chapter reads. And Al Sama'a, the heavenly skies, the possessor or source of the signs of Al Baruj, the zodiac, Al Baruj is Nibiru. Hmm. And by <laughs> Al Ma'ud, the promised day, the day of its return, and the watcher or astronomer, and that which is Mashud, watched Nibiru, the companions of the pits, the king of Yemen. Duhu Nawas, the last Himyarite, king of Yemen, and his brethren killed the faithful for making pits. The kindling of the fuel which burned the Enosites of Najran and forced them to renounce their faith. When they, king of Yemen, Duhu Nawas, and his Enosites squatted around it, the fires, and they were Shahu, watched of what they did tortured to the Mumanin, faithful Enosites of Najran, and they, king of Yemen, Duhu Nawas and his enemies only tortured, I'm sorry, and his Enosites, king of Yemen, Duhu, Duhu Nawas and his Enosites only tortured them because they were faithful to Al-Aziz, the mighty source, Allah, the one who gave all gratitude, the one who all gratitude is due to him. Him not we, who belongs rulership of the Samawat, skies, and the planet Earth, also called Tiamat, or Ki, and al Ard, and Allah is a Shahid, watcher over all things. Surely those who persecuted the faithful men and faithful women, 
and then did not repent for them will be the pain of Jahannam, purgatory. And for them, there is the torture of burning pain on their skin. The master teacher inserts a review real quick and it states, those who work to perfect themselves, there are Janet for them. The Batsha of your Rab is Shari. Yahuwah begins everything and is the Gafur. He is the possessor of the throne. Has not the Hadith come to you? Has not the Hadiths come to you? The source encompasses them on every side. The glorious Quran is in a guarded law or law. Surely there, uh, continue to the chapter, it says, Surely there are Janet beneath which rivers flow for those who are faithful and work to perfect their beings themselves. That is the great Al Fars achievement. Inna, surely the Bacha grip of your Rab, sustainer, verily is terribly shari, forceful. Surely he, he not we, begins or creates everything and has the power to bring everything back to life. And he is Al Gafur, the forgiver, Al Wadu, the compassionate, the possessor of Al Arsh, Al Majid, the thought, I'm sorry, Al Majid, throne of glory. He does what he wants. Has not the Hadith tales of Al Janu? The armies come to you of Pharaoh and Tamu or Tamu. In fact, those who conceal what they know is true are only liars. And the source of law encompasses encompasses them on every side. In fact, it is a glorious Quran and a guarded law tablet as Anuma Elish. Surika Alahum El Azim. And that's the end of the readings for today of El's Holy Quran. True peace. True peace. True peace. Any review? You want to give any feedback from what we just read? Anything you think about it? Any contributions? How you feeling? Any questions? We'll go ahead and open it up. No, I don't have any questions in particular. Any, anything you want to touch on? Uh, anything that you heard? Anything that read that stuck out to you? Yeah, you want to give any uh, feedback if you ain't got any questions? No, nah, I don't have any questions. No, I'm no saying uh, any feedback about uh, uh, what we just read. Anything you want to touch on? Not, not necessarily a question. I was asking, did anything stick out to you? Uh, I don't know if you heard what I was asking. No, nah, I heard what you was asking. I just, uh, I just don't have nothing to say about the topic. I just received the information. I got you.
it, so I'm gonna go ahead and place them so it's just me and you. Yeah, we can close out later. Oh. So I want to give a special message out to 
destroyed by violence. But you would offer a sacrifice unto a lot. Just take your gifts of grain or meat and lay it on the table of the poor. From it, the instant will rise to heaven, which will return to you with blessings. Tear down your idols. Take it in, you know. Turn all your sacrifice to offers and the of the flight. Listen. Make human hearts you offer. And burn your sacrifice with the wild blood. That's all. <laughs> Jim! 
you just struggle. But I know you and never know what. Amen. Amen. I'm for you to be what? The strength of a lie, man. Amen. That's the problem. No majority can't knock our shit. You don't want to still want to be a nigga of black and color. Mm. You still, still want to even find a job. What about the talent this nigga get into your job? Smile. So that talent gonna go dormant. You constantly looking for the very man that oppressed you to raise you to a certain level. Come on, man. Not telling anybody that don't work no job. If you hear it, you need to stack them down. Because you can't keep working for him. Smile. You cannot keep working for him. Smile. Smile. Because if you keep working for him, you will never reach the next level in terms of listening and the problem over your own true foundation. You will never. We're an intelligent organization. Then we have to learn these lessons. We got to come together. You know what? I tell our brothers this all the time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm trying to get the movie like the problem. Yeah. But that's not your mission. The problem is separate us so we can divide work over there, over there, and over there, and over there. And over there. You think you divide. Because you're walking the temple, they talk about who made you, and they don't say a lot. You know you're in the wrong house. That's right. Nice and plain. So you run like hell, don't you? Huh? <laughs> so how do we talk about ain't no unity? Because <laughs> the more side temple make is full of unity. <laughs> we ain't got to go home together. That's right. More side temple make is a business. That's right. Do your part in protecting the property in the temple. But you got to follow the divine constitution, the Bible law. We got to do like the truth. You can't change the fire yourself. You can't change the fire yourself. There's no people who hurts. Management. You got to have the right people to attack the management for what's happening. Come on, come on. Come on. Right people. Come, come on, talk to them. Because the one walking in that door to get a real key.
step down. He said that European was able to see what he had in the field. And he liked that so-called nigga that liked to front and talk. This nigga had a color. We're going to tell him how to moan it. from the grand man and you know those who come back listen to the replay you know i hope y'all take the words of the grand man spirit and understand the motif behind how we operate here in the more science temple of america so with that i'm gonna read the messages from the prophet some of the sayings from the prophet
And these are some of the things that the prophet want us to read in every message. So I'm going to go ahead and read this real quick. Islam. The prophet says, I'm glad to know that I have a few faithful moors among you all. And I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. There's a host of jealousy about me in the movement now by the same people of our side of the nation that claim that I was only a joke and unreal. But now, since they have found out from the government officials and the nations of the earth that this is the only sole foundation that all Asiatics must depend upon for their earthly salvation as American citizens, they are working every scheme that they can to disqualify me so they may take charge of the situation. I have notified all these things to you long ago in the past. It is through the faithful moors that attribute to the movement and uplifting fund. The ones that paid their divine the ones that paid their divine respect to me in the movement will be remembered. That is why I'm calling upon all faithful moors to increase their faithfulness to me, your prophet, and your divine Moors movement. I need finance and I need it badly. Never before have I needed finance so badly as I do at present, so I can shove aside the discord that is facing the nation. It all comes through jealousy because of my fame and nobility. The nations of the world will not recognize the movement without me, the prophet being the head. It has been proven by my works, which I have performed in the past few years. Your prophet, Noble Draw Ali. Islam. The prophet also gave some instructions to all the members of the Morris Science Temple of America. And with that, I'm going to post the Treasury of Merit link, pin the uh, Treasury of Merit link to the temple. That way, uh, you guys could click it. Read that, uh, you know, read that page, that paragraph if you like. Um, you also could leave donations through PayPal, through Cash App. Our uh, we have our own financial institution now as a uh, as a temple, and a lot of other things that you could get involved in um, by reading that World Treasury of Merit page that's on the World Temple in the menu. And like I said, uh, leave donations for us to, you know, continue doing what we're doing here. Got to keep the phones on. Got to keep the lights on. Got to keep everything running. So the prophet said to all members, uh, as far as these instructions, he said, be faithful unto your forefathers, divine and national creed, that you will be blessed for your good deeds that you sow in the flesh. The law is the one that judges the world and his judgment is now on. But the weak cannot can comprehend it not. The end of time is drawing near, so says the law to his divine prophet. I'm sorry, so says the law to his divine prophet, I know Drew Ali. And that's why many hearts have been turned to stone and many eyes to see, but cannot see, ears to hear, but cannot hear. Least they would be confounded of their sins. These are the trying hours now, dear Moors, and every evil spirit is moving. And they're trying every weak mind to overthrow and drag out the true foundation that has been laid and to cause confusion in the minds of the ones that do believe. But if you have the true love of Allah and the spirit of your forefathers, you fear not what you hear or see, but will sacrifice the will sacrifice the utmost of your very life to protect your movement and your prophet. Watch your enemies, dear Moors. Your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet and ridicule him to the very lowest. And the ones that speak against your divine and national principles of your temples. Act accordingly, and Allah will bless you for your good works. True peace, your divine prophet, Noble Jew Ali. All right, that was just some instructions that the prophet left uh, for every member of the temple. And um, now I'm going to read the divine plea and warning from the prophet that is to, you know, the prophet wants us to read in every minute. Uh, I'm sorry, every meeting uh, in temple service. So I'm going to read the divine warning from the prophet. Oh, I'm sorry, we already read it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, we already read it, y'all. 
So uh, instead of that, uh, I'll just read the uh, the prophet's plea to the nation, which is a part of uh, that divine warning and plea. prophet makes a plea to the nation the prophet says our divine and national movement stands for the specific grand principles of love true peace freedom and justice and i the prophet am applying to all loyal faithful morals members and the american citizens to help me in my great uplifting acts of uplifting fallen humanity among the asiatic race and nation for i have suffered much and severely in the past through misunderstanding of what the movement was dedicated to it is the great god of law alone that guides the destiny of this divine and national movement. I know all true American citizens are identified by national descent names to answer and to and apply to the free national constitution of this free national republic of the United States of America. That's why I'm calling on all true national citizens to help me morally and financially in my great work. I am doing to help this nation. For without a free national name, Without a descendant flag of your forefathers, there is not a national divine title of the government in which we live. This is from your true and divine prophet unto all American and foreign synthesizers, Prophet Noble Joe Ali. True peace, y'all. We're going to do the prayer. We're going to close out. Two fingers up, five fingers up. The Lord, the Father of the universe, the Father of love, true peace, freedom, and justice. The Lord is my protector, my guide, and my salvation by night and by day. Who is Holy Prophet, Noble Joe Ali. Islam. All right, we're going to close up. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all eating. Happy holiday, Muslims, peacemakers across the world. True peace, y'all. Water.